In this video, we explain how to use CaraPrintCam to prepare an STL file for 3D printing in CaraPrint 4.0. We will use a bite splint, also called a night guard, as our example for the video. It will be easier to follow the video if you do the same. Start by opening CaraCam and click on Print Editor. Under Model List, click Add. Locate the SDL file that you wish to print and click Open. A pop-up window will ask you to select the SDL units and then the file will be imported. You can click and drag anywhere on the building platform to view it from another perspective. To flip the restoration by 180 degrees, click on the entry field for the X-axis under Rotation and enter 180. Note that supports will not be generated on the cavity side when you flip the restoration by 180 degrees. For further processing, it's easier to remove the supports when you place them on the occlusal side. To turn the appliance on the Y-axis, click Spin, then click and drag the object to turn it. To angle the object, click Orient and then click and drag the object to the desired angle. 45 degrees at max is recommended for splints. When orienting the object, the surfaces that are most important for a good fit should be facing away from the build table. You can optimize the supporting structure also by slightly adjusting the orientation. Remember, we are building layer by layer. To align the lowest point of the object to the building platform, click Snap to Floor. The distance between the platform and object should be about 10 to 15 mm. You can also move the object within the build area by clicking Move and then dragging it with your mouse. Red walls will appear if any part of the restoration falls outside the printable area. Click the Supports tab to the left of the screen to activate the Support menu. Click on Support Tools at the top of your screen to view the Support Tool options. Click Automatic Supports to open the Automatic Support Tool. Using the slider, reduce the support density to 20 to 40% and click Generate Now. Review the results from various angles. Check if manual corrections are necessary. Delete any supports that might be too thin at the terminal areas of the restoration. First click the Delete button, then click on the individual supports to remove them. Add thicker supports to replace the ones you deleted. Depending on the angle of the object, terminal parts of the splint will need to be supplied with thicker supports, especially in the back, molar region. Remember, longer supports are less stable and could break while printing if they are too thin. For splints, we recommend using the thicker supports labeled medium. Click Add and adjust the settings under Support Parameters. If not already done by the Automatic Support Generation tool, make sure that the first supports touching the object prevent the object from rotation for more reliable results. Make sure the shape is set to cylinder under mid and bottom. Under top, the settings should be cone 25%. Then click medium at the bottom of the screen. Next, you can add supports to the restoration by clicking on the desired positions. Next, click modify at the top of the screen and select the new supports. Click Make Vertical to the bottom left of your screen. This makes the supports run parallel to one another and saves space within the building platform. Follow the same process for the other side.
To create a foundation, first check the box next to foundation under supports to the left of the window. Then select hash or peel off foundation from the drop down menu, depending on the size of the object. Make sure that the foundation has the right thickness. We recommend 1.5 mm to give you the required stability. After the foundation is in place, view the object once more from all sides to see if it might need more supports. After your final review, you can start the slice process by clicking Slice at the top left of your screen. We recommend saving your changes in the pop-up window before starting the slice process. Name your file and save your changes, otherwise the job will be deleted. The slicing process will begin automatically. After slicing, the results will be analyzed and saved automatically. If you would like to review individual layers, click View Slices to the top left of your screen. In the window that appears, you can type in individual layer numbers or scroll through them by holding the arrows. If you observe any red areas, place a support there and re-slice. Please note that the red area is only seen in the slice where the initial light curing will start. Now you can close the project window and connect with CaraPrint 4.0 to print your file.